But I mean, I was a kid that, that grew up not only watching the, uh, the Olympics for the basketball, but also, you know, for the, uh, the everything else included. I mean, it's a way to feel patriotic and, 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 you know, feel like you're a part of the country. So you don't necessarily have to be a sports fan to watch the Olympics. So, you know, after the, you know, playing on the, the team in uh, 2010 for the World Championships and now being a part of the uh, 2012 team, it's going to be a, a very special time. And, you know, it could be the last time for, for guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, to play at this uh, at this age because they might put in a, a rule that's 23 and under. So for me, I'm I'm very excited to be uh, headed over to London and competing for a gold. Uh, David Stern has floated that idea among others. Uh, you know, basketball is basketball, no matter where you're playing it. The, the basics are obviously the same, but there are some rule tweaks along the way. What did you learn from the uh, the World Championships two years ago that surprised you? What did you like? What did you like less about the international play? I really liked how the game, uh, you know, fit kind of to what I did. I, I definitely was, uh, it was a lot more physical. Uh, they let, uh, the rest, referees let a lot more things go. So I think, uh, you know, being the U.S., everybody's kind of after, after us. There's a target, you know, on our back. And, um, you know, a lot of teams are going to give us their best. So, you know, we're really looking forward to that. The rule changes we'll adjust to. Uh, it's only a 40-minute game, eight minutes shorter than what we play. So there's a lot of things that, that go into it, different nuances. But for the most part, we all adapt and adjust pretty well. Kevin, looking at this roster, you're one of the few bigs that's selected on this team. Has Coach K or any of the coaching staff talked about you maybe playing out of position, not the four, but playing a lot of five um, this summer? Yes, that's going to be my primary position uh, throughout the entire Olympics. You know, you'll see through the friendly games and leading up through the Olympics that I'll be playing, uh, you know, mostly, large majority, if not the whole time, I'll be playing a five. So it'll be myself, uh, Tyson Chandler, and Blake Griffin playing really a, a, a lot of five and uh, for me, you know, I'm just going to be doing a lot of picking and popping, uh, offensive rebounding, uh, getting extra possessions, is doing everything I can to help this team. Sounds like a blast. Make the most of it. Congratulations again, and good luck. I right, appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Kevin Love with us from Las Vegas. And up next, Coach Doug Collins jumps in with his thoughts on the roster and the competition ahead. The biggest memory was winning the gold medal you know, because we had been through so much the previous two summers and uh, you know, read a lot of stuff about how teams were going to beat us and how you know, we wouldn't be able to come together as a unit and, um, and we did. And then to finally have that pay off, that, that last moment where the buzzer goes off and we knew and you know, we had just accomplished something extremely special, I think those are the memories I'll carry with me forever. Time to get some thoughts on the U.S. national team from 76ers head coach Doug Collins, a former member of the team himself, of course, and Andre Iguodala's head coach in Philly joins us via Cisco telepresence from Orlando, where Coach Collins is getting set for the Orlando Summer League this week. Doug, uh, as you look at this roster, what's your first impression? What stands out for you? Well, you know, when you hear Coach K and Jerry Colangelo talk, it's speed, quickness, length, athleticism. Uh, they're undersized. But if you've uh, ever watched Coach K's teams play, he's always been a guy who really has only played one big guy. He likes his four-man to be incredibly versatile. Uh, you saw it in 08 in Beijing with LeBron played that position. You'll see Carmelo play it. You'll see Durant play it. Uh, all those guys have the ability to make plays, get in the open court. They have shooting. Uh, I love their energy coming off the bench. Uh, so it's going to be a fun team. Uh, I was uh, very fortunate to do the games in 08 in Beijing, and uh, now to be able to do in London, I'm very excited about this. You know, um, th there's only one player on this roster whose NBA team will list him at center. And as you alluded to, guys like Kevin Durant will be playing the four. Kevin Love told us a short while ago he'll primarily be a center for Team USA. Explain to viewers, if you would, what it is about the international game that allows guys to play positions bigger than they would in the NBA. Well, you know, it's a different game. Smitty knows he plays it. It's, uh, you, when you first uh, play the international game, you have to get the adjustment. But I, I think Coach K's all, uh, philosophy has always been that he thinks speed and athleticism and quickness will trump a big, slower guy. And now you've obviously with Spain, you've got uh, both Casals, you know, you're going to have to deal with some of these teams are bigger. 
But I just think the United States, what they will do is they'll get up the floor, they'll pressure defensively. And Coach K's philosophy uh, as a coach is he wants teams to have to make plays against them, not to run plays. He's a disruptor. Uh, my son is one of the scouts on the team. One of his big duties is who's the heart and soul of the team? Let's cut that out. So when they play France, they're going to have to try to neutralize Tony Parker. When it's Argentina, it's Ginobili. When you play against Spain, it's Calderon and Juan Carlos Navarro. They feel like if they can do that, then it limits those big guys from having the effect on the game that they normally might have. Doug, you talk about some of the competition that uh, the team will be going up against. Let's talk about Spain in particular because of their size. Do you see if they slow down the game and they can keep it close? Do you see these bigs and Marcus Gasol? Well, if they can get the tempo, uh, Smitty, there's no question. That's what uh, that's what they want to be able to do. But, again, are the United States going to be able with their speed and quickness to be able to get the style they want to play? When I did the games uh, in Beijing, the United States averaged 106 points a game, shot 55%, and were the leading rebounding team. Uh, they won every game by at least 11 points. The scoring margin was almost 28 points a game. So, really, the only close game they had was in the gold medal game against Spain, and that's the game that uh, Kobe and uh, Dwayne Wade took over over at the end of the game to seal the gold medal. Doug, you've been around for a long 